everyone is looking to New York right now as the epicenter of this situation, but it, every single city and you know state is experiencing it in their own way. I'm Jean Cooney, I'm the director of Times Square Arts. I am Julia Knight. I'm the museum director at Poster House. The idea came about actually after reading an article about posters during the polio epidemic in New York. When Poster House closed its doors on March 10th, we really started looking for ways to continue to be an educational resource for our community. We found out that Times Square Arts was doing the same thing. Images of an empty Times Square were becoming very emblematic in the media. We knew that Times Square was not in fact empty. You know, our pedestrian counts on a daily basis are around 30,000. So if we were to use the screens or any of our resources in any way, it would be to communicate messages out to those people who are still on the ground in our streets. So we started reaching out to designers to do PSAs on a whole bunch of different subjects. Health and safety recommendations, messages of strength, messages of gratitude. What we got back was incredible. You know, people just using a lot of strong messaging, a lot of really great colors and also humor. There was a lot of levity in these, which um, at first surprised us, but then I think made total sense that people are trying to find a way to positively contribute and not sort of scold or, or make the situation a little bit worse. What I've noticed both in this initiative and just seeing what our colleagues are doing out in the arts and cultural field, there's a, so much more collaboration being more ready and game to join forces and team up on things because it broadens our impact. I would love for more of the screens in Times Square to give up advertising space for free public art. I hope that that continues on um, into the future. There are so many difficult things embedded within this pandemic, but it's been unifying in a lot of other ways and that we all ultimately want the same things. We want it to end, we want people to be healthy, we want to keep each other's spirits up and, you know, continue to stay connected with some semblance of resilience until we get to the other side. And so I hope that some of the collaborations and sense of community that's been forged now carries on, you know, once we're, we're through it.